today we'll be going over maintenance on our boss table. One thing you want to do, usually you want to do this about once a week, is check your linear rails and your helical. So on your linear rails, you want to make sure they're free of any rust or debris. To do that, we'll just, I'll just use some white lithium, spray it on my scotch brake pad, and then I'll just go down the rail and just buff it to a shine. Once you're done there, you just want to wipe that clean. You just basically want to keep that free of debris and rust because that will ruin the bearings. As far as the helical gear goes, you want that to be free of debris. So you could take a wire brush or just a rag, or some people will also just take air and spray them off. You just want to make sure you're not spraying them towards the gantry. You don't want all those deposits to get stuck in here in the motor. Once you have that cleared off, I just like using a dry graphite spray. Just come down through and just spray your helical. Same can be done right up here on the X. Just keep it free of any debris. Same thing with your linear rails. You'll also want to grease this about every 20 running hours. Grease zerks are on each side of the gantry, two here on the X and two here on the Z along with on the other side. You want to give those about a quarter of a pump of white lithium grease and then move the table around and just kind of keep doing that till you have a small film on your linear rail. Another mm -hmm. thing you want to check regularly is that your torch is secured in place. This is a wear item. So there's three spots where that locks on. If there's any play in that, you just want to take your, your torch off, 316 Allens, and then just loosen up your Allen screw and your jam nut, and just tighten that so there's no play in it. Another thing you want to check is there's an O-ring where your consumables go in. Make sure that that O-ring is not marred up or broken or missing. That is a replacement item through Hypertherm. One other thing we'll want to do probably every six months is just check the backlash on the gantry. To do that, just grab it and give it a shake. You should have no clay in there. If you do have clay in there, go ahead and give one of us a call here at Boss Tables. We'll walk you through how to take care of that, or we can send a service tech out to fix it. You can also check your x-axis for any clay in that also. One other thing you want to check on is the scribe. This is all pneumatic. So like any pneumatic tool, it will need tool oil put into it. You can also clean out the scribe if you're having issues with the scribe running. Go ahead and give us a call. We'll, we'll walk you through how to fix that. We want to make sure that we have tool oil. And that's filled up in our valve. We'll also want to clean out our computer. Make sure that isn't collecting any dust. You want to use a can of condensed air to clean this out so you won't damage the fan that's in there. Don't hit it with low. Over here on the controller side of the table, you want to remove the cover and lightly blow this out so that it's free of any debris. So doing these simple steps will ensure that your boss table lasts a lifetime.